Metallic cars are just awesome. You just gotta love the extra shiny paint on the car, don't you? Back in 2018, Mattel started this line called the Scavenger Hunt line in cars, which means there is this one per case extra painted metallic paint, not just like the McQueen here, for example, but it was a metallic version, and ever since then there has been 16 other releases. Metallic Jonas Carvers was the 15th one to be released. The 16th is Metallic Union Jack Ramon. We are also expecting, I believe, three more in the name of Van Mater, Hauling Gus and Snotwood. Most likely in that order, as I put my phone back down here. So yeah, let me know in the comments below which, which is your favourite and which one will be released next after Metallic Union Jack Ramon, as that was the one after Jonas Carvers. So yeah, here is Metallic Jonas Carvers. I got this from Get Me Collectibles and of course I got my second one from Dendams off eBay. So of course I do have a second one open because I didn't see that there would be a review of it but now just looking at him again, it's just an amazing car. So yeah, anyways, let's start off the review. So here is Metallic Jonas Carvers, we've got the very nice metallic paint. Jonas Carvers here, made by Mattel. His artwork, which is extremely nice. Of course, here it says Special Metallic Edition. The Scavenger Hunt line made in cars. So that is very nice. And of course, on the back we do have other cars such as Metallic Jonas Carvers, Metallic Cowweathers. But Metallic Jonas was the second one of the year, not the second Blue Desert one. There's been three since then, which has been Wine Inside Wine Shields, not Wine Inside Laney, sorry. I would like to see him as a metallic, that'd be cool, orange. But yeah, here is Metallic Jonas Carvers. Now, let's start on to the review of Jonas Carvers himself. Here is Metallic Jonas Carvers, and I've got to say, you guys, get this car if you can, if you see him in a shop. Just look at that paint. It even shines very well on the camera, as you can see. Look at that shine. Anyways, we'll start off the review. As you can see, the shine of the metallic paint, we've got no stool here. In this checkered pattern again, as usual, we've got the nice normal next gen expression headlights. Um, we've got the grill there, and we've got the fenders on the side. Nice expression with the eyes, black outline at the top. On the top of the car, we've got one, two, three, and the roof flaps, window bars, or support bars, whatever you like to call them these days. The incorrect spoiler of no stall, which I believe is actually incorrect. Black and red as well, very nice. Here is the sides, with Piston and Gup Combustor, Carbon Cyber and Synergy, all the new sponsors for Cars 3. These nice light year rims, 1, 2, 3 there, got the um, arrow to indicate to the pity where to lift them up at pit stop, which is very nice. I just showed Noah Schmidt there, I think that is Noah Schmidt. Anyways, there is the exhaust pipes, we've got again the checkered pattern there, fuel cap, here are the... Here's the back, we've got the rookie stripes, one, two, three, under the headlights, and no stool there. That does pretty much end the review in this guy, but it is just an amazing car. Just look at the metallic paint, even it reflects off the camera really well. And of course, we've got Disney Pixar made in China, made in week four. This has been out since pretty much the end of January, around about February. But I only recently got him, got my second one. About two weeks ago from Gendams, as I, as I had said, this is the one from Gendams. So yeah, that is Metallic Jonas Carvers, as you can see. And we do have some other cars I'd like to show in the package from my Scavenger Hunt collection. We've got Metallic Union Jack Ramon, which has been the most recent one. Of course from Case J, I believe it was. Very nice. We also do have another Scavenger Hunt one, that was from the first case. Metallic Cow Weathers, very nice, and of course we also got the other blue desert one, which is another blue car of Brian Shields, Metallic, from 2019, because that's the copyright, very nice, and of course I got this one from the Disney store, as you can see here, £6.99 is how much I pay. We do have some other cars from previous years, because it did continue, we got Metallic Sally, which is literally one of my favourite ones. We also got Nick Stickers here. Very nice one. 
we do also have the two variants of metallic mountain which is um a bit confusing but i will get onto her in a second we got metallic shannon spokes from thailand very nice i didn't pick up a second one because i didn't need need one at the time i didn't feel like she was worthy of a second one but now i do again here is the third ever release i believe of metallic cruise Moreras. just the regular one in this gold paint very nice very does suit her we do have this metallic florida ramon very nice we do also have the two variants of metallic mountain as i did say there is two which are done every video on check that out on my channel one is made in china and the other is made in thailand as you can see just over there so yeah that's why and because the, the china one was super hard to get rid of so they had to reproduce it here is lightning mcqueen the first ever scavenger hunt we also got scavenger hunt metallic mario andretti which is a kind of rare one you're going for about 20 quid now 20 25 pound super rare scavenger hunt some of these are actually getting rare now so for example metallic rex regular he's getting kind of rare we got here metallic dino drowski which is from china very nice and last for my package collection of the metallic cars which is every single one we got Bobby Swift. I've got every single one boxed. I don't have every single one open. I will show you my open collection here. We got Rex Reveler, Cal Weathers, Dino Drusky, Bobby Swift. These are all the cars, three races. Three of them are blue, so that is very nice. And we got Turner's covers here. We also got Ryan Shields, which is another metallic blue car. We got Union Jack Ramon, which is again another metallic blue car. Floyd Ramon, metallic. Metallic Marilyn, they're both variants. Very nice. And of course, we also got Metallic Prismeros, which is the other metallic car that I've got. That is my metallic collection. My favourite one I have to go with is, of course, Jonas Carver's. He's just my favourite. Now, Metallic Union Jack Ramon. Because I do like the British flag on the top, which is nice. And then my third favourite, I have to go with this cruise because gold, I just like gold colours, I guess. Now, that is it for the metallic cars of the Scavenger Hunt line. We will compare them to his regular release now. You can, if you get this far into the video, comment um, Apple, because like in my previous video, I said banana which was yellow so yeah i have to talk a bit louder because my dog starts to bark there yeah you can see the differences in the metallic now for jonas pretty much the same car just more burgundy paint job i guess now we bring up the whole team we've got the tomica version of jonas here which is again one of my only my only tomica release i've got because it was something like six pound from japan and it came within a week. I was like, £6? That's cheaper than a diecast release. And I was just like, well, I'm definitely buying that. I wish to have, like, Jim Riverick, but I don't. Here is Top Marcus from Cars 3. Very nice. We also got Roman Dunes, the crew chief. Two variants. We've got the lenticular one and the non-lenticular one. I believe, like I said earlier, this is Noah Schmidt. No still pity. Very nice. Here we've also got all the other top Marcuses. Here's my custom, one of my few customs in my collection, of a damaged top Marcus. When he's on top of Clog Squags. We also got the regular release from China. We also got the variant with the eyes. As you can see, no feel to the eyes, whereas there's the lump, you, you collectors will know what I mean. And of course, we also got the rubber tie release here, too. And of course, we also got the hauler. If you don't know, way back in my day, in the day, some of my early subscribers will know that my hauler broke during the review. So I'm still looking for a replacement, but he's still something like, I don't know, 30 quid, 40 quid. And now, now guys, look, he won't close. 
He literally won't close now. I think he's broken, like, fully. There we go, he's closed. Of course, we also got the semi here. Well, this is the semi to go with the holder, as you see. Clips on. Now I'm for my package collection of no stool. We will leave these in the back because I've got no space. We've got the no stool semi with the expression change. Very nice. And the package number 14 in deluxe size. Mega size. Other cars on the back. I've got that box. I've got that box. I don't have Hummer Spen or that box. And the only other one that I have box is the Jonas Carver's normal. So yeah. That does end the review on Metallic Jones Carvers. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite member of the No Stool team and your favourite Metallic car. Sorry this go this video is very long, but comment Apple if you did get that far into the video. Just just comment it, you know, so I know that you're a true subscriber and watch my full videos. If you're new, please make sure to leave a like, dislike if you dislike, subscribe if you're new, hit that bell notification button down below. To the next one. Bye guys, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do now.